Hi friends, so far we have seen basic concepts of complex number where you have seen algebra of complex number, you have seen how to add, multiply, subtract or divide to complex numbers. Also now you know very well that how to find modulus and argument of a complex number. So these topics that we have covered before comes under basics of complex number. Now I'll ask you one question. If you want to find out square root or let's say cube root or the fourth root of a complex number, then how you will find? Now as we find roots or the powers in real number, you can still find roots or powers or certain expansions of complex number also. But how to find it? So in this topic, I am going to teach you how to find certain expansions, roots and powers of complex number. Now, this, now, this, is, this has become possible only because of one scientist whose name is Abraham D. Moivers. So, he has derived a formula using which we can very easily find out roots or the powers or expansion of complex numbers as we do with real numbers. So that is why this theorem is called as D. Moivers theorem. So name of the topic that we are starting today is nothing but D. Moivers theorem. Now, what Abraham de Moivers says? So, according to him, if you want to find out power or root of complex number, let's say it is n. So, n is any rational number. It means it can be a whole number or it can be a fraction. So, cos theta plus i sin theta is a complex number and we are trying to find out power of this complex number. So De Moivre says whenever you are finding a power of a complex number that time it will become cos n theta plus i sin n theta. It means your power will multiply the amplitude of complex number. Now let's take some example. Example if you have a complex number let's say cos theta plus i sin theta raised to 5. It means you want to find fifth power of this complex number. So according to De Moivre's, it will become cos of 5 theta plus i sin 5 theta. Suppose let's say it is minus. It means if we have cos theta plus i sin theta raised to minus 5. Then what will happen? Same result this minus 5 will multiply the amplitude of the complex number. So it will become cos of minus 5 theta plus i sin minus 5 theta. Now we all know that cos of minus theta is cos theta. Hence cos of minus 5 theta is yes it is cos 5 theta. Similarly sin of minus 5 theta is minus sin 5 theta. So it will become minus i sin 5 theta. So it means if you want to find out negative power of any positive complex number then the sign will become negative and vice versa is also true. It means cos 5 theta minus i sin phi theta is given to you then you can write it down as cos theta plus i sin theta whole raised to minus 5. Now let's say, let's take some fraction. So if it is cos theta plus i sin theta raised to 2 by 3. In this case, what will happen? Same rule, 2 by 3, it will multiply this theta. So it will become cos of 2 by 3 theta plus i sin 2 by 3 theta. So according to De Moivre's, whatever is the power or the root that you are finding 
for any complex number that power or root will multiply amplitude of the complex number so using this theorem we will see some numericals and let's solve some numericals using the result of de moivre's